Welcome back to the show. It's now time to talk basketball, and we are six weeks into camp for Eric Musselman and the basketball team. So let's bring in our Kevin McPherson, our basketball insider, to talk about how camp is going. So, Kevin, recap week six. How'd it go? You know, I think it went well. In fact, Eric Melsman and his staff do a great job of using social media to com communicate to the fan base with videos and messages and photographs, different things that are going on. But, you know, this is a team that's going to have 10 newcomers among the 12 players on scholarship. So Arkansas fans, even though they've heard some of these names through recruiting, uh, we know the 2020 in-state class uh, what was a top five national class, according to ESPN. And so these were in-state guys, fans followed in high school. But they're going to get to know them sooner rather than later now on the college level. And then you have the grad transfers. You had some guys that sat out last year. But with 10 newcomers, you, you find out something new just about every day during the, each week about guys that haven't worn a Razorback uniform yet. So it's kind of an interesting uh, way to communicate to the fan base. And I think Musman and his staff have done a great job because you want to build that excitement in your fan base when there's not guys that are coming back. Guys like Isaiah Joe, Mason Jones, Jimmy Witt, Adriel Bailey. You know, you lost a lot of guys that have moved on to the next level or graduated. And so I think they've done a really good job of casting that net of information for fans to lock in. And look, that we talked, I just mentioned that recruiting class. All four of those freshmen have received praise at some point during these last six weeks. And this past week, freshman guard Devontae, Devo Davis out of Jacksonville, uh, I was, I, source told me that he had a really good week of practice. That's kind of been building the last three weeks, but a 6 4 long-rangey point guard. I think arguably the top facilitator in the high school ranks in Arkansas when you combine court awareness, vision, and just his feel to help set guys up either in transition or in the half court. He brings a lot to the table in terms of a playmaker, but he's so long and can get to the basket as a slasher, still working to improve his shot, but a great week of practice from him because we've heard so much about Moses Moody, K.K. Robinson, even Jalen Williams to this point in camp. So all four freshmen are, have really shown well. Uh, and then you look at Justin Smith, one of the grad transfers. Uh, he had season high, career highs uh, last season as a junior at Indiana before transferring as a grad grad transfer to Arkansas. But but career high averages in points over ten a game, rebounds over five, and minutes over thirty. Um, and now insiders are telling me, you know, he's been really consistent. He's got that reported elite 48 inch vertical leap but I'm, I'm i'm told he's playing well and consistently well not only in transition scenarios but half court scenarios but but he, one onlooker even told me he wouldn't be surprised if he finishes up his college career with more career high averages and that would be big for arkansas that's replacing a lot of production especially on the perimeter when we mentioned those names again mason jones isaiah joe and jimmy witt jr departed uh and then you just look up and down the lineup moses moody we've talked so much about him he continues we continue to see video highlights of him getting to the rim for put-back dunks or slashing to the basket for dunks. Here's a guy who comes in with a big reputation, reputation as a perimeter shooter, an elite three-point shooter, and he certainly is. But the more that we see this narrative being built of him getting to the basket, it's something that I knew he could do coming in, but it's not something that's been widely publicized. But now we're seeing more and more of that. So when you look back at week six, just a couple of more tidbits. Uh, J.D. Note continues to practice on a limited basis. He's got the left wrist injury. He's, re he's building, working his way back. He is not gone live, full contact practice yet. And then Desi Seals, uh, the veteran, the junior who averaged double figures in the SEC in scoring last year, Arkansas's top returning player, uh, he missed some practice time this week with a nagging issue with his foot. It's not to be thought of as a serious injury. And one more thing, the new walk-on grad transfer, uh, Brandon Kimball, who played last year at Mississippi Valley State on a scholarship and was the leading rebounder on that team, he has officially been added to the roster. Listen, he'll wear number 14 for the Razorbacks this, this coming season, but he's the third, the fourth grad transfer added to this, for this roster, but the, the, the only one that's a walk-on, and now he's one of three walk-ons on the roster. You love to hear all that news, and you know we love to see all those videos that, you're, uh, that they're putting out on their social media that you mentioned. Let's continue to talk about the Razorbacks you mentioned. Isaiah Joe, keeping it in the Razorback family, signed uh, Michael Conley Sr. as his agent. Of course, he was a former track star here at Arkansas. A former, yeah, one of the greats. And, you know, he won a gold medal in the triple jump in the 1992 Olympics in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, but this is a big-time 
uh, to me, this is a good union. It's a good partnership. You know, Mike Conley Sr. represented his son, Mike Conley Jr., who's with the Utah Jazz. They're in the playoffs currently. Uh, when he came out in 2000, I believe it was 2007, uh, and he was the number four overall pick out of Ohio State. His teammate at Ohio State, Greg Oden, was the number one overall pick that year. And people forget there was a third player from the Buckeye squad, Daquan Cook, went number 21 overall. Mike Conley Sr. also represented him. You look at uh, Jeff Teague, who was drafted by Atlanta. Uh, you know, after that, another first-round pick that Con- that Conley represented. But this is good for, I think, for Isaiah Joe as he now moves forward and looks ahead. Uh, now we're less than two months away from that mid-October NBA draft, and Mike Conley Sr. has experience, um, you know, as an agent, and this is probably a good fit for Isaiah Joe. All right, and lastly, some quick recruiting news. I know they're continuing to recruit at a high level and doing as many uh, Zoom calls as they can. Yeah, virtual meeting this week with Darian Ford, class of 2022, in-state out of Magnolia, 6'4 combo guard. Rivals ranks him the number 37 player in the country, a high-level four-star. Uh, but he did have a virtual meeting midweek with the Razorback coaches. And look, he's not the only one. That deep in-state 2022 class getting a lot of attention from the Razorbacks and other programs. Uh, Joseph Pinion, Kalel Ware, Nick Smith Jr., J.V. on Guy King, and even Creed Williamson, Corliss Williamson's son. Arkansas's picked up interest with him. He's the He would be the sixth scholarship offer later if he gets one. Uh, but, you know, Darian Ford's a guy that took an, un, his unofficial visit to Arkansas just over a year ago, early August. Obviously, it's a dead period right now. Ford and the others can't go on campus for visits, but Musselman's not losing any time and not losing pace here as he continues to, like you said, work the Zoom and virtual and FaceTime meetings with these recruits. Well, we love all the information, Kevin. Thanks so much for another great week. Of course, you can always read Kevin's stuff over on our website, honkville.net. Make sure to follow him on Twitter at AR hoop scoop.